Welcome to Medical Lectures channel. In this video, we are going to continue with salivary gland. Ductal system of salivary gland. The ductal system of salivary gland is composed of network of ducts, where smaller duct join together to form a larger duct. There are three types of duct: intercalated duct, striated duct, and excretory duct. Intercalated duct. It is the smallest diameter duct. It is present at the first portion of the ductal system. It carries saliva from the lumen to the striated duct. Intercalated duct is lined by a single layer of cuboidal cells with cytoplasm and centrally placed nucleus. The cytoplasm also contains rough endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, Golgi complex and few secretory granules. Myoepithelial cells are also present in the intercalated duct. Striated duct. They are continuous with intercalated duct and carry the saliva to excretory duct. They have a larger lumen lined by a single layer of columnar cells. These cells have centrally placed nucleus and abundant cytoplasm. These cells also show foldings at the basal portion of plasma membrane. The foldings help to increase the surface area of basal plasma membrane. Mitochondria are basically arranged within these foldings. The basal foldings along with the mitochondria is responsible for the striated appearance. That's why the duct is known as striated duct. Cytoplasm show organelles like few rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, ribosomes, vacuoles and peroxisomes. Basal cells and oncocytes are also present. Oncocytes are cells containing dark granular cytoplasm. Striated duct basically modify the electrolyte composition of saliva. Excretory duct. The striated duct open into a large excretory duct. The excretory duct carries the saliva into the oral cavity. The structure of the excretory duct varies in different portions. In the initial part, near the striated duct, the excretory duct is lined by tall columnar cells with few basal cells. When the duct becomes larger, the lining gets pseudostratified with few goblet cells. The ductal portion near its opening to the oral cavity is lined by stratified squamous epithelium. Functions of ductal system Ductal system act as a passage through which saliva secreted by SNI reaches the oral cavity. Intercalated duct releases lysozyme and lactoferrin the two antimicrobial components into the saliva. The striated duct modify electrolyte concentration of saliva. Saliva that enters striated duct is hypertonic, with more concentration of sodium and chloride ions and less concentration of potassium and HCO3. Striated duct has sodium pumping ability. The cells of the striated duct reabsorb sodium from the lumen and secrete potassium in exchange of the sodium. When the sodium ions reaches the, reaching the cell is pumped out into the tissue fluid, concentration gradient is developed which lead to further reabsorption of sodium from the lumen. Therefore, the concentration of sodium in the saliva becomes greatly reduced whereas the potassium concentration increases as a result the saliva becomes hypotonic. Along with sodium, chloride ions are also reabsorbed and as a result bicarbonates are secreted into the saliva. Therefore, saliva coming out of striated duct has less sodium and chloride ions and more potassium and bicarbonate ions. Excretory duct releases mucin into the saliva because of the presence of goblet cells.